Fine. Now let's go for problem number three. Let us uh, look at the statement. A test for a single cylinder. Here again, it is a single cylinder, two-stroke engine, where n equals to n was conducted and found that mechanical and thermal efficiencies were 0.7 and 0.2. That means 70% is mechanical efficiency, free thermal efficiency is 20%. Mean effective pressure is 6 bar and transit 300 rpm. Fuel rate is 2.2 kg per hour. Let's write given time. Single cylinder means K equals to 1. Then the two stroke engine. Since it is a two stroke engine, N equals to N minus 2. And then mechanical efficiency is 0.7. Brake thermal efficiency is 0.2. Mean effective pressure is 6 bar. And speed is 300 rpm. And mass of fuel consumption is 2.2 kg per hour. And the total fuel value is 42,500 kg per hour. Finally, this is important. Stroke to bore ratio. What is the meaning of stroke? L. Bore is D. So L by D ratio is 1.2. L equals to 1.2. Find the cylinder dimensions. These two are only for cylinder dimensions. Core and stroke are the cylinder dimensions. Therefore, we need to connect the D and we need to connect the L. So, in this problem, we need to calculate the cylinder dimensions. Fine. Now, since brake thermal efficiency is given, let us write the equation for the brake thermal efficiency. Brake thermal efficiency is equal to Vp divided by Fm into Cv into Vp. Therefore, 0.2 equals to Vp divided by Mf is how much? 2.2 kg per hour. Therefore, divided by 3600 into calorific value is 42,500. From this, the unknown is Vp. Therefore, calculate the Vp value. 5.2 kilowatt. 5.2 kilowatts. 5.2 kilowatts. This is the value of Vp. Okay. Now we found the value of Vp. Also we know the value of mechanical efficiency. With this two data you can find out Ip is it? Is it not? Since mechanical efficiency is equal to Vp by Ip Therefore. Is equal to 5.2 divided by IP contract, therefore IP equals to IP equals to 7.42 kilowatt. 7.42 kilowatt. 42 kilowatt. 42 kilowatts. And it should be greater than B. B. Obviously, it is greater than B. Hence, it is very high. Now, we calculate B B and IP. Now, using the IP equation, we should find out the value of D and L. So, let's write IP equation. IP equals to 100 plan divided by 60 kilowatts. What's the value of IP? 7.42 equals to 100. Mean effective pressure is how much? 6 bar. 6 bar. L is not given, therefore, express in terms of diameter.
165 mm. 165 mm. mm. These are the cylinder dimensions. This is how you need to. 